So go ahead and we're gonna um, mute if you haven't. And if you want to turn off your camera for the meditation, we're gonna drop in to uh, kind of increase our resiliency today. Um, Cause that's also another way that we can kind of self-assess. So go ahead and find a comfortable position. And as you find your comfortable position, just invite some relaxation and unease throughout your body by gently noticing the inhales and the exhales that you're giving yourself right now. And every inhale is just breathing in life. And every exhale is releasing anything that is not serving you. It's not in contribution to your well being. So just continuing to breathe, breathing in life and letting go of things. You don't even have to think about them because that kind of brings them back to you. Just allow yourself to say, I'm letting go. So breathe in life and then let go. Maybe you can label it as heaviness. Just let go of heaviness. So as we move into this meditation, I ask you, to understand that you are a powerful human being. To acknowledge that you have gotten through so many rough parts of life and continue to do so. You see, it's beautiful. All human beings have something in common. We're all very highly adaptable and some of us more than others but it's a trained skill and adaptability can be further trained through mindfulness so breathing in life and letting go of heaviness And a beautiful thing that we forget sometimes, but a lot of us are really able to connect into is to understand when life brings us to our knees, we don't have to stay there. Emotions have a cycle. There's a moment they're birthed, they have a life and then they have a death. And when hard things happen, there's always a period of mourning and grief where we have that rise up and then it dies down and we engage with it again and it rises up and it dies down and it goes this way. And because of that, I can promise you that you're allowed to feel those emotions. Because in letting them go, you are feeling every emotion that you've been given, knowing that it will shift. And that is how you become more resilient. So having that courage to feel the courage to grow through what you have to go through. All the storms in your life that you've gone through so far, they've made you stronger and more resilient. And through this, you have the ability to become the eye of the storm. And if you can, recall a time where you were able to be that eye of the storm in the midst of the chaos.
And once you have that memory, notice where you feel that calm. Notice where you feel the resiliency of being able to move through this, even if at the moment you didn't really know how. You can look back and recognize you have. Just notice where it is in your body. Because life is still going to throw chaotic times at us. But if we can come back to this place that we already have and reconnect to that calmness in the center of ourselves, wherever that is for you. It at least will be a supportive reminder of that resilience that's already inside because you are resilient. You are a warrior of peace. There is nothing that you cannot overcome. I absolutely believe in you. So take a deep inhale through your nose and a big sigh, let it go. And one more time, deep inhale and then set it free. And allow your body to move and wake back up again. After exploring that, opening your eyes, perhaps stretching a little bit, shaking yourself out. Thank you for exploring that with me. And when you're ready, please join us back. Looks like a yummy breakfast over there. <laughs> yeah, we made hash browns and eggs and strawberries and toast. That's like his favorite go-to breakfast. Hi, do I say hi to them? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, if you need to take a moment to write anything down that came up for you during the meditation, please do. And then I'd love to dive in with you all. So how are some of the ways that we self-assess? What are some of the things that we do either to support or undermine ourselves in that assessment? I'm so curious. And maybe what was it like for you to go through the meditation as well? Those are all possibilities here.